today, really your first chance to have a say on a massive new project that could help connect East Charlotte to West Charlotte. CATS hosting its first public meeting for their Silver, or Silver Light Rail Line. It would stretch from Matthews to the airport and include stops at Bank of America Stadium and Bojangles Coliseum, all the way out there out west towards Belmont as well. Wake Up Charlotte's Richard DeVay now live for us. And Richard, this comes just a week after city leaders have already approved nearly $15 million to expand CATS's uh, rail line in a rail yard in Noda. That's absolutely correct, Ben. Good morning to you. Good Tuesday morning, everyone. Yeah, I'm standing right at the light rail line where they'll be able to now expand and have more facilities to upkeep its train systems. And they want those train systems to also run that silver line, a proposal that's starting today. You'll have the chance to find out more about and also weigh in on. The meetings virtually held today and tomorrow at 5.30 in the afternoon will focus on the future of the Lynx Silver Line service. The proposed 26-mile light rail would take riders from Belmont through uptown Charlotte and out toward Matthews, including stops at Bank of America Stadium and Charlotte Douglas Airport. Topics discussed will include potential alignment and station changes in the Bojangles Coliseum area and in and around Center City, Charlotte. The meetings come at a time of transition for the system, which has had its share of struggles over the past several years years, including the tragic shooting death of a CATS operator and recent resignation of its CEO, John Lewis, who we recently spoke to on Flashpoints about the importance of the Silver Line. We have an incredible opportunity. Uh, federal investment in public transit is the highest it's ever been. Uh, we have a bit of a competitive edge in Charlotte now that we are ahead in the design for the Silver Line. But still, is the questions about who, how much money they have to, for this silver line, how much it'll cost, and ultimately how much taxpayers will have to fork over. Now, this project is still years in the making, but of course, as it continues, we'll let you know each and every step, starting with these meetings going on tonight and tomorrow. We're in Noda. This is Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte. Yeah, it's a big first step. Richard, thanks.